This is a practice video for a lovely waltz called Amelia. It was written by Bob McQuillan back in 1981 and Silver Strings has been given permission to uh, play and teach this tune. It's part of our repertoire and uh, it's a very lovely waltz that we enjoy playing. Uh, the tune is named after a um, daughter that of a fellow band member of Bob McQuillan's and she was named after Amelia Earhart. So the tune is in the key of D. It is a waltz and it ranges on both sides of the right and left of the treble bridge. Down from your bottom A marker and all the way up to the A up here just above this G marker. So let me play it through for you and then we'll break it down. There is an A part and a B part and both parts repeat. Let's begin. The pickup note to the A part is the A on the right side of your treble bridge, probably for some of you your very bottom note. And then it goes up to the D. And I use my right hammer for the pickup note and my left hammer for the D because of where the tune um, proceeds from there. So. That's the first two measures. So uh, it, it's some, the first two measures have a dotted quarter note followed by eighth note and then a regular quarter note. Okay, let's do that phrase again. Can come across here but the A part can all be played on pretty much on the right side of the treble bridge so you go up to this B come back down to the D and the B the sec now that's the first half of the A part let's try that part again Note where the measures that have a, a dotted quarter note. It makes it more interesting rhythmically than just doing one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's how it is written. So the B part, or I mean the second part of the A part starts out the same as the beginning. Recognize this. That's repeat. 
repeated, but now we have an ending um, to the A part. And so you're going to cross over to the ending to this side because we have a C sharp that we have to play. And we're going all the way up to the F. Okay, let's try that. So you're crossing over from this A down to the B over here. And then a dotted, that's a dotted quarter, and then the eighth note, and then we march all the way up to the F, come back, skip over that D with the eighth note C. All right, let's play the whole A part. And pay attention, as I said, to the uh, dotted half dotted quarter notes and eighth note patterns. Come back down to the B. The next part starts the same as the first phrase. Repeat the A part again. To the B. Starts uh, like the beginning. Cross over to the left. March up to the F sharp, come down, skip over that D. All right, now we're ready for the B part. We move up to the A, which is one system above the G marker. Cross over with your right hammer. Or you can play this if you prefer to stay on there, but the next section is all in this area. So I choose to play this A, but you can choose whichever works best for you. So let's begin that phrase again. Starts up on the A. Another dotted quarter note. Let's do that. Cross, right across and come up with your left hammer. Let's do that phrase again before we do that. Now we're going to do a sim similar uh, rhythmic pattern but in a lower, starting with the F sharp. So left hand, eighth notes, D, you're just coming back and forth and your right hammer is come over here, then you go back right across. And then move down one, C sharp, let's add that. Cross over, come up with your left hammer, cross back over, And then we repeat it. Cross 
cross over with your right hammer, move up with your left hammer, and move your right hand hammer up, and then just come right across to the F sharp, and your left hammer is already at that D, so you can play that with that hammer, and then move back across with your right hammer, move down one, and this is where the left hammer can come across. Then we finish up with the last phrase. Cross over with the left hammer. And that's how the B part goes. Shall we play the whole thing through? It's a waltz, so it doesn't need to go real fast but we'll try to play it extra slow. And again, remember, these are suggested hammer patterns. If you want to go up and down on this side, you certainly may, and um, find out what works for you and what's most comfortable. But with a waltz, you do have to alternate hammers uh, to give it a, a flowing sound. So don't, don't let your right hand overrule your left and vi or vice versa. All right, let's do it uh, through very slowly. to the B part. Cross over. over with your right, left goes up, move down, play it one more time just a tad faster uh, and you can choose in the end the tempo that feels best for you as I said it is a waltz
right, enjoy this beautiful waltz by Bob McQuillan called Amelia.